Hey guys, Sam from Mamphers Makes and Moose Mike. So welcome back to all our returners and hi to any newbies. It's so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while and if you like what you see, give us a thummy. They are free. So Mike and I are here today because over the festive period we had a lot of happy mail and within that happy mail a couple of our wonderful American friends sent us some treats to try so you have come today for a taste testing now a lot of you do watch from the states so it will be interesting to hear down in the comments whether these are readily available for you um, and if not if there's anything we've been sent that you have yet to try and also for those of you that are not in the US let us know your thoughts on what you would like to try if you get the chance now I know taste testing is not crochet or yarn related, but it is still relevant to the channel because we love the fact that people are so kind and generous to us that the least we can do is give them our genuine feedback on the treats that they've sent. And also it may give some clues to those of you who will happy mail us what we don't like. <laughs> So are you ready for us to dig in? We have several snacks in front of us today and Mike and I haven't yet eaten so this is very very welcome but once again thank you for the generosity of you lovely lovely folks that have sent these in and we wouldn't get the option to try it if it wasn't for you. So I think we should try with the more fruity, sweetie type candies move to kind of the biscuity type and then go to chocolate because once you go into chocolate it coats your mouth and you can't really distinguish from there on in so if i do this this is the first four it's more of the fruity things so mike you pick what would you like out of these four I'm going to pick the fruit and yoghurt things to get them out of the way because I don't think I'm going to like them. So we have got some Welch's fruit and yoghurt snacks. They are strawberry and apparently Welch's is family farmer owned. So there you go. No artificial flavours. Excellent source of vitamins A and C. Good source of vitamin D and calcium. Made with real fruit surrounded by creamy yoghurt. Now, my kids, when they were small, they used to love yoghurt-coated raisins, and it was one of the only ways I could get fruit into them. So this reminds me of when my kids were small. And they look really cute. Let me show the camera. Oh. Can you see? They're bits of strawberry covered in yoghurt. There we go. So I've got a few in my hand. If Mike grabs a few as well. Now, I'm not a massive yoghurt eater, but I'm going to give them a go. We've got three each. In they go. I actually really like them. Not bad, to be fair. Mm. You've got quite a sticky, gummy consistency with the bit of strawberry. And a really nice yoghurt taste. Mmm. Nice little tang after as well. Mm. Could definitely be a nice little snack. Healthy snack. That isn't, yeah, that isn't too bad for you. Per bag, there's 230 calories, so they're a hit from me. And you can definitely taste the strawberry. It's got enough of a fruit taste because sometimes it can be a bit artificial and a bit near, but that's really nice. Okay, I'm going to go for the Swedish fish. Okay, soft and chewy candy, and there's about three servings, 110 calories per serving, so that's what, 330 calories a box, and if I'm being honest, Mantha would eat a whole box per cell. Three servings, my eye, but then I'm not known for <laughs> sharing me candy, so this is how they come. So they are red, oh, I've got two. They are red fish. And in it goes, I love gummies. Mmm. I 
Nike. Very true. Stick to your teeth a little bit. They're okay. Now this is an artificial flavour yeah. compared to the strawberry yoghurt. The flavour isn't brilliant. But See, I like it. It's nice and sweet. And subtle. Now if they were sour, they would be even nicer. I think maybe halfway through that box, I would have to stop and give myself a break because I might start feeling a little nauseous because they are super sweet. But I really like them. They are a hit for me. I am pretty much the gummy queen, so. I think the flavour's not, it's, it's not enough. See, I like the subtle. So Mike likes his food to pack a punch, always. So because these are candy cane flavoured and minty, I suggest we go for the other fruit flavour first. So these are Mamba Berry Tasty. Apparently they're new. So like I said, have you guys got these yet? There is Wild Strawberry, Berry Mix, Raspberry Cranberry and Blueberry. There are 18 fruit juice per package. And it says the flavour combinations may vary. So I like all of those flavours. I am a big berry fan. So it doesn't matter to me what colour I get. Now, if there were citrus flavours in here, I would just pass all the citrus to Mike until I got to a berry flavour because I'm not a fan of citrus. But, oh, they're in individual little packs, look. So we've got a wild strawberry pack, um, a berry mix pack, and a raspberry and cranberry pack. So which one would you like to open, Mike, seeing as this is your pick? You want the raspberry and cranberry. And we will save these. Or shall we have one of each flavour? Let's have one of each flavour. They're individually wrapped inside, aren't they? Okay. So how many per stack? Six? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so this is raspberry and cranberry, right? You like both of those fruits? Little chewy. They're like our chewits or fruitella. Mm. Again, a subtle flavour. I'm tasting more raspberry than cranberry. Mm. I like these. Mm hmm. This is Mike's kind of sweet. Mm. I normally wouldn't pick this. I'd go gummy rather than chewy, but then I've got tea fishies. So this is the berry mix. That was really nice. And it's a soft chew, not a sticky chew. I'm getting a darker berry flavour with this, so whether it's blackcurrant or blackberry. Definitely not red fruit, this is a dark fruit. To me. Do you agree? I do. Very nice. And these are the wild strawberry. Or strawberry. I say strawberry. Some of you have noticed how cute you find it, how I say strawberry. <coughs> Very good, very nice. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is the artificial strawberry flavour that I was talking about earlier. And although I can tolerate it, it isn't the first flavour that I pick. Fake strawberry is a bit hit or miss for me. I prefer the other two. Yeah, out of them, raspberry and cranberry was the best. Mm. Yeah, but raspberry and nice. cranberry, then the berry mix, and then strawberry at bottom for me. But 
We have tried three things and I like all of them. This rarely happens on a taste testing. <laughs> I think we're going to get into dangerous territory a little bit later. And then we have some Jelly Belly candy cane flavoured jelly bean. The original gourmet jelly belly, uh, jelly bean. Okay, now you can enjoy the classic Christmas candy cane flavour in a Jelly Belly jelly bean. Grab your favourite Santa hat and spread some holiday cheer. So these are obviously going to be minty. Mint doesn't bother me. It's a palate cleanser to be fair. They don't smell overly minty. So they might be subtle, but who knows? And they are quite minty. Yeah. More of a spearmint than a peppermint. I like them. Again, jelly beans are not my first pick when it comes to candy, but I like them. My mum, my real life mum, she will do almost anything for jelly beans. They are one of her favourite candies. But they're nice. It's like a chewy version of our Tic Tacs. Yeah. Hmm? Very good. Success all round again, guys. Do the cleanse after. Mm. Yes, because we're now going into cookies and things. That was a very, very hot cup of tea. Palette ch changer, that one. Mm. It's good though. Mm hmm. Because now we're going into cookies and stuff. We are. So, that's cookie, that's cookie, that's cookie, that's cookie. Can you class those as cookie? I would. Yep. And we'll leave those for in a minute. So, there you go. You can pick first again. I'm going to think they're going to be the subtlest of flavours as well as those. Let's go for these. Yeah, so there are two packets of these, but we're only going to open one. They are the Mini Nilla Wafers from Nabisco. And there we go. So Mike's going to open his pack. We'll put the other pack over here. Oh, Tiny little circles. Are these what you guys call your sugar cookies? Let me know. Hmm? I like that sort of cookie. Hmm. This is right up Mike's alley. And I quite like them too. Just enough of a vanilla flavouring to know that it's not just a plain biscuit. Because mm -hmm. we call cookies biscuits. I could eat loads of them. And they kind of melt in your mouth. Mm. Turn to nothing but leave a nice aftertaste. There is yeah. no bitter, like burnt taste. No. They're my faves so far. They're really nice. Yeah, that is proper up Mike's street. I'm going to have another one. <laughs> So I'm going to pick the Frosted Cookies by Mothers. It says no high fructose corn syrup. The original Circus Animal Cookies. And there again is two packs of these. So we're only going to open one. Loving the packaging. Pink and purple. Can't go wrong. Just saying. Oh, do you want a pink one or a white one? I'm going to go pink. Of course I'm going to go pink. There's my little pink one. I'm going to try both. See what the difference is. White, pink. So I'll just put a pink one in. I'll put a white one in. So this is just an iced cookie or an iced biscuit. Absolutely fine. But it does have that creamy icing taste. And I think after a few of these you might start feeling a little bit. Mm. Probably why there's not that many in the pack. Yeah. Right, so the white one was very light. Pink's quite a strong taste, so let's go for white, see if there's a difference. No difference. No. You just get pink ones and white ones. And there's one pink and one white left. <laughs> I still prefer the Neelas. Mm. 
so the Nilla wafers over the circus cookies, but they are absolutely fine. I could yep. eat all of everything that I have tried with no issue. Mike's been wanting to try these. Chips Ahoy! Chocolate chocolate chip cookies. All over YouTube, the mm. people that I watch, they all oh. rave about these. That reminds me, one of our Yarny friends has sent me a little reel for you to watch on Instagram and it involves one of your your channels it's a bit of a mickey taking but it's funny and it would so not happen someone has obviously falsely engineered it but it is funny okay so chocolate chip cookies yep i don't know if i want a whole one it's such a pig I like that they're thin, that there's not too much cookie. Nice and sweet. Just as good as the Maryland cookies that we buy. I think they're better. They're more crumbly. Mm. They're soft, they're crumbly, they're, they're not, sweet. They're not claggy in your mouth. No. Whereas ours just clog. Mm. Claggy means when it comes to like a solid gelatinous goop that you can't get, get out, out of, of your mouth teeth, yeah. or your teeth these don't do that they melt like away that. they do melt away i still prefer the nillas or nillas whatever they're called i think but it's nilla because the nilla but yeah who knows i might be wrong another success mm -hmm. absolutely lovely you get four in a pack yep nice with a cup of tea cup of tea just saying we're known for dunking our cookies in our tea as well i don't i do i dunk my hard cookies in milk mm, i don't drink milk by itself soft cookies i just eat i love a good dunk of a biscuit in a cuppa but you play that risky game because if you keep it in there a second too long it <laughs> plops to the bottom of your cup and it's and gross it's absolutely gross <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think we're going to go this one. Hello Panda Chocolate, bite-sized, creme centre with crunchy shell. By Meiji. Meiji. Bite-sized, eh? That's no good for Mike, he's going to have to have a handful. So I've just ripped off the corner. And they're quite puffy. They I've got are. a feeling it's like a chocolate Nutella filling I'm not keen on stuff like this yeah no it's exactly what I thought it was gonna be it's not disgusting I could eat them if it was the only snack in the house but it's not my first pick I like them it reminds me of our chocolate and biscuit dip so yeah we have little plastic pots and it's like sectioned in the middle and on one side you've got little breadsticks like plain unsweetened breadsticks and you have a little side pot of runny chocolatey nutellery consistency mm. stuff and you get your little breadstick and you scoop out the chocolate and mm. have a little and, and that is exactly that. what it is and it's not my favorite but still perfectly palatable i don't think i'm going to have an issue with anything today no. it is definitely not going to be one of those taste testings where there is a horrible knee-jerk reaction or a spit out put it that way <laughs> no i don't think there is going to be any issue. i think we are in safe territory today guys so sorry if you were waiting for a spluttery <laughs> moment i don't think there's going to be one okay so next we have nutter butter the peanut butter lovers cookie and there's four cookies in here they're peanut butter sandwich cookies by nabisco again so nabisco is obviously a popular company over there that do kind of your cookie production ours is mainly nestle mm -hmm. and jacobs round trees round trees are more like candy than cookie 
So, okay, so this, I, I'm going to take a bite and I'm going to pass the rest to Mike because <laughs> I love peanut butter, but only really on toast. Like, I don't really eat it in anything else. Or chicken satay, when you put your peanut butter in your satay sauce for your chicken. But peanut butter is not a massive... Mike loves peanut butter, but he, again, is not a fan of you guys literally putting peanut butter in everything. So, I love the fact that it's peanut-shaped, though. Mm. That's fun. They seem quite hard. Mm. It is a harder cookie. See, again, it's fine, but it wouldn't be the first thing I reach for. It's not an overpowering no, peanut it's a butter. Smooth paste, isn't it? Mm, and Very it's only little. like a thin layer. Again, it's not a claggy fill your mouth. It's enough to know there's peanut butter in there. And they're nice enough. Again, there's nothing wrong. It's just not my first pick. It's not mine either. No. So there we go. We've only got four left, guys. We're powering through this today. Normally our taste testings are like hour long. I think Mike's just happy to have some snacks because we haven't eaten today. So there's no breakfast, no <clears> lunch. <throat> We're waiting for dinner. And normally we say to the kids, don't eat snacks before your meals. And there's me and Mike on camera like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Let's get the cupcake out of the way. Yeah, because we've just had peanut butter. Yeah. So we have got Reese's peanut butter flavoured cupcakes. See, lots of peanut butter. You guys love it. And I don't think this is going to be something that I'm going to particularly enjoy. Because peanut butter can just be a bit much for me sometimes. So we're not having a whole one each. If you want more when we're done, you're oh, welcome. Oh, yeah, it's fine. I'm not that. Okay. So it looks like a chocolate cupcake with the Reese's peanut butter stuff on the top. Because your Reese's cup are chocolate case with peanut in the middle. And they're all right, but I'm not a fan of Reese's, so. And there's a filling inside. Yeah, no, I don't like that. Mm. This is claggy. It's a very moist cake. I'll give it that. There's nothing dry about that whatsoever. But you just know it's been pumped full of preservatives and very sweet. Wow, that's a lot of sugar. Mm. Can't let it go away, so. It's absolutely fine. Again, it's not disgusting. I can eat them, but it ain't going to be the first thing I reach for ever. And that one tiny little nibble that I had is more than enough. Like, my tummy's saying, right, you're done with sweet stuff now, fam. And I've still got three more things to try. It hurts my mouth. God, it's a lot of sugar. That's my least favourite out of all of it so yeah. far. Sorry. That is a lot of sugar. Mm. And I have sugar in my tea. He's Fizzies. a massive sweet tooth. And massive. that is on another level. Mm. But I can't let it go to waste. He's a fool unto himself. He really is. And if you're wondering, no, this is not homemade. This is store-bought. Just, I know I'm going to get a question asking. him. Okay, so while he's chowing that down, <laughs> we're going to go for some sugar babies. Soft milk caramel covered with a candy coating. Soft and chewy. Now, we both like caramel, but Mike likes caramel more than myself. And apologies if you pronounce it caramel. It's caramel to me. They just look like caramel coloured jelly beans. Can you even see them? 
and they are soft. Oh, they're a bit fudgy. Why is you taking them away from me? Because you're going to eat the whole <laughs> box. Yeah, fudge. So we've got stuff over here called fudge. Mm. And it is gorgeous. I am putting them this side off the computer because Mike will eat that whole box. I do like my fudge. Mm. Oh, hey. God, there's, there's too much sugar. Mm. Now, these are only semi sweet. These have got what I call nugget, you guys call nougat. I like nugget. Mer vanilla. I've got a feeling these are more of a darker chocolate, and I'm not a dark chocolate fan. Snow caps, semi sweet chocolate, non pareils. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I apologise. Per three tablespoons. Who dishes their candy out in tablespoons? <laughs> it's like one box for me, one box for you. <laughs> Giving away all my secrets, aren't I? That actually I am a secret. Oh, they're tiny. They're so cute. <laughs> I was expecting them to be like the Hershey's Kisses. <laughs> they are so tiny. That's why they do it in tablespoons. Like, <laughs> literally smaller than like a drawing pin to put up a poster. Oh my goodness. I was hoping that there was going to be some coconut, like the white bits was coconut, but I don't think it is. So I've got several tiny little snow caps. Yeah, I need like a handful of what is it's not even worth it. <laughs> You're giving away all your secrets too. <laughs> we do not go by serving suggestions in any food. And I think if you guys saw the portions we dish out for our meals you'd be horrified oh, I don't like these it's that horrible cooking chocolate mm. so this chocolate tastes like our cheap chocolate that we use to cook with like baking chocolate it doesn't bother me as much as it bothers you I quite like cheap chocolate but not for a let's sit down and eat a shed load of it i'm a chocolate snob he is he's not gonna like these at all it even says enlarged to show detail on the box because they're so tiny they literally are itty bitty tiny whiny yeah we're gonna pass those on to the kids i think because the kids will eat anything that's junk I, I say it every taste tester, but you cannot beat our chocolate. I'm no. sorry. Uh, Belgium. Oh. No, I mean the US versus UK. No. I'm sorry, US chocolate stinks. It's rubbish. <laughs> and I don't mean to be offensive, but I have not found a US chocolate yet that I would pick over my Cadbury or my Galaxy Okay, sorry, these are Charleston Chews, vanilla, and it says chewy flavoured nugget with a delicious chocolatey coating. My brain is thinking Milky Way. Mm, I'm thinking harder than that. So again, they're tiny. I thought you guys over there were known for like supersizing everything for the box but still it's a bit bizarre that it'd be in a packet like that and they'll be this big mm. yeah a bit harder than milky way mm, not quite milky way nice though no the chocolate ruins it yeah but get rid of the chocolate and just have the nugget in your mouth and then it's nice the vanilla masks it not like them mm. yeah they're all right So for me, the Reese's Cupcakes and the Snow Caps were bottom of the pile. Top of the pile is probably the Swedish Fish. 
and the Mamba Chews, I would have thought. Yeah. For me, it's the Mamba Chews. Mm -hmm. They're not the top, they're the second. And the Nila. Nila. Nila wafers. Yeah. I'm actually going to eat that packet now. So there you go. That was probably delicious. one of the most successful taste testings we have had. What about your sugar babies? No. Still the Nillers? Mm -hmm. Fair enough. And I was only joking about the sugar babies. If he wants a box of sugar babies, he can have a box of sugar babies. I'm not sure I do. They're not quite fudge. The only reason why I did that, guys, is because whenever we do a taste testing, I'm doing all the talking, giving you feedback. He's just sat there shoveling it in, not talking to you at all. Just eat, 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 <laughs> eat, eat. See? He's <laughs> but to be fair, at least he waited until we had tried everything this time. Do you remember the noodles? Just <laughs> sat there scoffing the noodles, and I'm trying to say goodbye <laughs> to you all. Leave them alone. But anyway... We truly appreciate being blessed with snacks to try that we cannot readily get our hands on. It is absolutely amazing. This is one of the most successful taste testings we have done so far. So well done. You guys who sent them know exactly who you are and what you sent. So They remind me of like a really sweet rusk. Yeah, they're not going to know what rusks are. Um, so yeah, whatever we've left mike will hoover up his choices and then probably the two children that we have home today will probably try the rest um the other two won't be back until later on so but we do try and let the kiddos try it as well if i can keep it away from him long enough <laughs> but anyway guys that was our taste testing of more treats from the us of a and Although they are not ones that I wish I could run to the shops and go and buy, I'm glad that I've had the opportunity to taste them. It has been massively successful and it's kept my growling tummy at bay until dinner time. Let's put it that way. So thank you to each and every one of you for coming and joining us today. I hope you enjoyed watching that. Again, let me know down in the comments, can you get these? Have you not managed to get the new stuff yet? What are your favourites out of what we have showcased today? And although Happy Mail is never required or requested, we always say, if you want us to try it, we will. And yes, we'll do it in front of the camera. Everything from salty licorice to super spicy noodles, sweets, cookies, chocolate, and everything in between. We are happy to try it all. This is not a begging. This is a, if you want to try us, and bring it on. You brought in those super spicy noodles, and I found them. Yes. And I actually bought more for my lunch. He did. He did. So even though they blew my brains out and burnt my mouth off, he deliberately went and got more. Yeah, so you put me on to a, a new Crazy. food. Crazy. So yes, this isn't us begging for more stuff to try. It's just when stuff comes in, we kind of stockpile it so that we can do these videos for you. So don't ever be put off sending stuff because we will always give it a go. And I am the most fussy person ever with food and drink. So even I am willing to try it at least once. So anyway, we're going to let you get going. Thanks for joining us today. Please head back tomorrow for... Hang on, let me get my planner. Uh, it's actually behind the laptop, not where I normally keep it. Bear with me. So... You will be seeing this on a Tuesday and tomorrow I'm coming back with the first edition of Have You Ever Wondered for 2024. So if you are wondering what I've been wondering, come back tomorrow and check it out. But until then, stay safe, be kind, look after one another, get some good quality time in with your loved ones, get some very tasty treats in you, get some good quality crafting time and stay moosey. We will see you in the next one. Oh, Bye guys, Bye. love you.